Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're filming something a little bit different. Airsoft underwater. Does it work? Piece of crap! It's part of a new video series that I've been wanting to do for a while called Airsoft Science, where we test practical theories and questions related to airsoft that I've been wondering and others have been wondering for a long time. Bravo 6, going deep. First up is the Elite Force Glock 17 Gen 4 CO2 powered handgun. Pew pew, hand pew. Yeah, don't have Hypothesis, I think it will work very well. Wow. <laughs> so, as you can see, first shot was a little iffy, but uh, once, it, once she got going, it worked pretty well, and we actually uh, emptied the whole bag. It still works. What do you, uh... Yeah, works pretty good. I'd say that's a Glock 17 out of 10. Next up, is the car 98 shell ejecting green gas power now as you saw in the video that i used this for the gameplay it didn't work very well out of water so i don't have very high hopes for it underwater but we shall see nonetheless i think it will look pretty cool So uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to check the footage on that one, but uh, I can't really tell if it was working. As you can saw, it had a bit of difficulties ejecting the shells for obvious reasons. We'll give it one more test to see if it uh, maybe was some variable unknown, but so far zero out of 10 performance underwater, but it still looks really cool. Now I gotta go find the shells. So as you can see, none of the babies even left the shells, which leads me to believe that there were some technical difficulties potentially with the shells firing. Now, as you saw in the gameplay, this happened a lot. So we'll go ahead and give it one more go. All right, test fire. All right, so confirm this is working. Now we'll test it one more time underneath the water and uh, we'll see what we can find. Bravo six, going deep. Oh! 
So as you can see there, it didn't work very well underwater, but after the second or third shot out of water, we did get a functional BB flight path. So yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> No, not. Third up, we have the UMP GBB Green Gas Power. And I don't know what else to say other than that this thing fucking slaps. Seems we ran out of green gas. Uh, who would have thought gas blowbacks? <laughs> so much power. Oh. Whew. Yeah, this thing just is pretty great, yeah. For the fourth and final test, we have the Crytek Licensed Barrett AEG. We have an 11 one point LiPo with the PTS EPM, and uh, I won't be surprised if I get a little shock, but uh, I'm interested to see how this will actually hold up after using it underwater. I think it's gonna actually work. We shall see. So, Godspeed. We'll do a test fire. Oh. All right, so it's working. It's working! Oh my god! Unlimited power! <laughs> oh my god! Holy shit! Well, well, there's a test for you. As soon as the rifle entered the water, it started firing. Now there's many explainable reasons for that, but uh, I was able to flip it back to safety and it stopped working, so oh. we'll do another test. Hi dog. <laughs> hey dog. <laughs> so, so now we, we sort of have like a uh, full auto only select fire gun where if you switch it, so we'll proceed the mag. But it does work. As my esteemed colleague Blake said, it is working. It's working! We're gonna do it one more try. Barrel is hot. Don't go on, say. It's working. That's probably the battery dying. Sad AEG noises. Yeah. That's a... That's a kill. That's a F, F and working. chat. You can hear it. I think maybe we stripped a piston. Maybe we'll... <laughs> yeah, it's uh it's, it's not working 
piece of crap. Ugh. That's why, ladies and gentlemen, you should not use AEGs. So in conclusion, I think that we all learned a lot today. As far as the results, I'd say probably the worst was the car on car on 98. Who would have expected? Um, it just didn't work well underwater and it doesn't work well out of water. So I'm not surprised, let's be honest. Uh, but it is still uh, amazingly cool. That's not a word, but uh, as for the AEG, I think this was pretty self-explanatory. It did work, however, and it still technically completes the circuit now with our select fire here, but it's not gonna be ideal uh, when it comes to water airsoft warfare. So I'll probably give that one about a three out of 10. Piece of crap! The real, the real winners of this competition here were clearly the CO2 Glock 17. Uh, we got some real solid performance out of it. Still going strong. Uh, but, but the best uh, hands down champion, if you're gonna go play airsoft underwater and out of water or around water, the UMP gas blowback is your guy, or girl, or other, depending on what your situation is. But yeah, it's just an absolute. An absolute champ. I don't even think I need to say more. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll be doing more videos like this in the future on random topics that I've always been wondering about. But uh, until next time, have a great day.